All right, this is another episode of For the Culture. And this time we are discussing about this upcoming election, really the election that is happening, uh, the 2020. Yeah, it's a crazy time. So we don't know who the president um, will be yet. Um, This is pre-election day. Uh, I gotta say, I'm a little... I don't know, ambiguous. I don't know. I don't really know how to feel. Uh, been, Why is that? <laughs> uh, I mean, the reason being is because we are in some interesting times. I mean, without being super political, I mean, if we're just talking about just straight facts, we are in a pandemic, which has not happened since 1920, 1919, somewhere in there. Which makes it 100 years ago since this has happened. Um, The economy is tanked because we have a large amount of unemployment is going on due to the pandemic. So it's kind of like, to me, Great Recession plus Spanish flu. And we've never had a president like Donald Trump. So I'm not saying that that I'm not trying to be super political, but those three things are just straight up facts. And I don't understand how he still is even remotely close to having, you know, enough votes to even be competitive. It's just crazy to me. So, and then apparently, I guess this is predictions. They're saying that the election day is not even going to be, it's not going to be determined if the president will be decided on the day. They're saying it's going to be long and drawn out. So it's just a whole lot of just like, crazy crazy going on so Mm -hmm. uh yeah that's my thoughts that's why i feel ambiguous because that means i'm confused (laughs) yes thank (laughs) thank you just in layman's terms i guess you want to say that but i i definitely i mean i will say like the push that has gone out for voting i mean i feel like i've seen it a lot more in this season of the election like with voting and polls because I know for myself we vote in all elections local and state and national and whatever but with with all of that you see the ads you see the commercials but then you that's it but now it's like with social media and with everything else it's like oh okay you know it's just a whole different avenue and for me personally I just feel like for somebody that consistently votes and others, I, I don't know if others feel the same, but I just, I'm very proud that uh, there's been a lot of push, especially for our community and our culture. Um, you see a lot of people, whether it's through radio, whether it's through television or just other platforms and media platforms, people really pushing the vote to early register, to actually go out doing Um, drives for seniors you know making sure that people can get to the polls I feel like it's very important um, especially if you can't physically get there or have you know um, uh, difficulty to you know to be able to go out to vote physically you know you have your mail-in but either way it's like people are gathering together and making sure that it happens and that we take the proper measures to ensure that those things go through so that way there's no excuse to (laughs) that you don't vote it's like there are plenty of resources um for you to get there and and not you know just check social media i mean facebook the everyday it's always text messages text messages had to opt out a lot but you know all right we already voted that's why so (laughs) i mean i'm just i'm not seeing it to this extent and i mean and that's just me personally not even I don't think even when Obama was in office like during that election time I didn't get as much push as it has been they send this stuff to my parents house too like make sure Crystal votes I already did that so (laughs) my dad texted me uh, they keep thinking you trying to vote yet so yeah but it's been it's I'm glad I'm just very happy to see it so go out there and vote yeah and yes, you you put a very positive spin on on it, a very hopeful spin on it. Yes. So I'm be I'm, I'm I'm shifted from ambiguous and confused to hopeful. Thanks there to your uh, great uh, response there. But 
I mean, I am hopeful though. Honestly, yeah, it's a big push for people to vote. I mean, it's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Uh, I think I mean, even records are being broken in early voting, yes. not just in Harris County, but also in Texas. Mm-hmm. I saw earlier, so and that's across the country. So it's, I think people are just like mm-hmm. fed up, and right? Tired. And it's like, okay, it's <laughs> this has got to stop. Yeah. So you hopefully, just it's just hopefully it's just a blowout. Um, unhope and hopefully it's like fairness actually being done in the, in the democracy that we call America. Uh, so, I mean, I'm hopeful. I got on my Beto shirt, but it's not for president. It was for Senate. Um, Beto was not ready for the big president uh, time, but he, he maybe maybe um, in a couple uh, decades or something. But um, what? <laughs> Let me just go stop right there. Okay, but so. You know, it's election time, and go vote. Go vote if you haven't already. If you haven't already, yeah. And if you have, thank you for your doing your um, due service. Yeah, I almost said to all mankind about it. That's because she voting for Kamala Harris. She didn't really vote for Joe Biden. That's what that's about, clearly. Anywho, all right. That is all.